Day number three of the 30 day vinyl challenge. Day three. Here we are. I uh, just want to show off what we had yesterday for me. Spirit 12 Dreams of Dr. Sardonicus. Sam, what did you have? I showed Vashti Bunman, just another diamond day. Just another diamond day. So, what are you going to show today? Well, today I'm going to show something different from my. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Uh, different from my previous two picks, this is a new album. This was actually released last year. Um, I had the opportunity to see this artist um, this past year, and it was pretty eye-opening. I really enjoyed her performance. Her name is Sharon Van Etten. Uh, this is her album, Tramp, which I believe is her second or third album. Yes. <laughs> it's one of those moments. It's gonna it's a, mumble. It's a sure album of hers. Um, <laughs> we, have, <laughs> we have two of her albums. I kind of preferred this one, which is her um, most recent album. Let me show it again here. Um, it's very good. I, in my mind, it kind of feels a lot of uh, like a lot of kind of the '90s alternative almost feel to it. Um, I really like the first two tracks, which are Warsaw and Give Out, and inside here. The show that uh, I went to see was pretty phenomenal, um, very good performer. So if you like kind of melodic, grungy, lullaby-esque kind of performances, definitely check her out. Sharon Ben Etten. I'm not holding it right. Jag, Jag, you are. Records and tapes. There it goes. Well, I'm not good at this. How do you guys hold this thing so good? Well, sorry. Yeah, I think you get the idea. You get the idea. Um, check it out. Here's my pick for day three. Okay, and my pick for day three, and I uh, was talking to uh, Jerry about this, but sort of a, this is sort of my challenge to everybody else that's doing the challenge. We yeah. Kind of, kind of figured we would maybe challenge each other. How do you challenge in a challenge? Well, there's the 30-day challenge, which is the personal challenge, okay. and then there's the, you know, the group challenge, which is I'm going to show a record, and maybe you can show something that would be similar. You don't have to do it if you don't want to, but um, you know, big shout out to Matt and Bo and Michael and uh, Jerry and Tim and everybody who's participating. Um, so my pick, and this is my challenge, is. Show an album by an artist who's sort of like a famous artist, but show maybe one of their obscure titles. I'm going to show Three Dog Nights first album, uh, self-titled. This one, if you notice, I got so lucky. I never see this record, but usually it says one right here because that was sort of the the song that made this album uh, sort of popular. You know, one is the loneliest number. Um, we were in Arizona, and I went to uh, a it was half price books, and this was one dollar bill. For, well, that's appropriate. Isn't yeah, it? for the for like the original OG. Let me see the song titles on here. Uh, one thing about this album is most of the tracks are cover songs. You know, Three Dog Night were, you know, definitely not known for writing their own songs. You know, have songwriters to do this. Um, this album is produced by the same guy I think that produced a couple of Steppenwolf albums. Uh, it's same label, obviously Dunhill. So, um, what are the tracks? What here are the tracks? So, one obviously everybody knows that song. Nobody, which was a Kaleidoscope cover song. Uh, Heaven is in your mind, which was a Traffic cover song. Um, Chest fever, which was a band cover song. Um, the loner, which is Mew Young, and uh, try a little tenderness, which was uh, Otis Redding. So. Great album, so not too many people talk about this one, you know. The other albums, you know, kind of middle of the road, sort of album oriented rock, but uh, this one has a special place in my heart. So it is the second one, uh, suitable for framing, but uh, there it is. So an obscure one by sort of obscure. I mean, I don't think a lot of people had this one, so there you go. That's my pick. I'll see you tomorrow.